Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe down below and press that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new content. So today, why am I wearing a bonnet, you might ask? Because I let my hair dry overnight and I haven't yet stretched my hair yet, but I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I like to stretch my hair. I guess the first thing, let's go ahead and take this bonnet off. We're going to get real personal because I ain't never, like almost never, show my hair in its most shrunken state. So when y'all say I'm not 4A, 4B, hold up. I most definitely am. All right, so let's see what we're working with under this bonnet. All right. Y'all see my shrinkage? Do y'all see my shrinkage? These are my little 4A, 4B tight little ringlets. Yeah, I'm dealing with a ton of shrinkage. Let me just show y'all a ton of shrinkage. Wait, oh, there we go. A ton of shrinkage. Thumbs up this video if y'all have a ton of shrinkage like me. Like if y'all have this going on. So the first stretching method I have, I personally call the unicorn method. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna see why I call it the unicorn method. I'm just going to take these cut up portions of pantyhose, do not judge me, and I'm going to put these up the length of my hair. Only thing about this is it doesn't really work if your hair is really, really short. You're gonna have to split it up into different sections, and that is a different way of how I stretch my hair. So if your hair is like of a longer length, then this will be good for you. It's also really convenient, and you only have to leave this in, I would say like an hour. If you do for two hours, it's gonna stretch your hair a little bit more um after two hours i don't really think i think that's the most stretch you're gonna get i always do this on dry hair that is the secret once my hair is completely dry then i stretch it and i know a lot of people stretch and do the banding method when their hair is wet i use the unicorn method when i want to stretch my hair but i want to put in minimal effort and if my hair is already dry this process is so 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 simple i just put it on top of my head go up the length of my hair and then chill for an hour and then i'm ready i just get the best results like the most definition it go crazy i like the unicorn method when i'm in a rush and i'm late which is most of the time so another way to stretch your hair is the traditional banding method and I'm going to insert a clip of me using the banding method I separated my hair into five sections and then I banded my hair I cut up pantyhose like I always use those as like my ponytail holders I cut those up and then I twisted it around the length of my hair using as many of the bands that I felt like I needed to get down the length of my hair. And I'm just fluffing and separating, fluffing and separating. Maybe you guys have seen it around, but basically it is a good way to stretch your curls. But again, the difference is I do my banding method on completely dry and shrunken hair. It is better if you have either a shorter length of hair so all of your hair does not fit right on top of your head or you feel like being more diligent um this way you can get more stretch if you feel like it so this is like a great amount of stretch for me i'm completely not complaining but if you do the banding method and you do it on each section and you do tighter loops basically stretching your hair even more then you're going to get more length now mind you my hair was a little shorter there than it is now so you may be like girl why you get so much more length from the unicorn method than the banding method and you did more work but don't think of it like that just see the stretch for what it is pretty much I don't really use the traditional banding method as much because the unicorn method is so much easier and I feel like it does the same thing but to each his own, um, I just wanted to give this option. So that is my second method, which is the traditional banding method. All right, so the next method, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it. And if you've seen one of my more recent videos, then you definitely saw that I diffuse. I diffuse my hair if I am in a rush. It is the best thing since sliced bread. Literally, all I have to do is put my product in my hair, like wash my hair, put the product in my hair, and just sit there with the diffuser for like 20 minutes, and I'm good. Like, I'm ready. My hair is done. My hair is dry, and it is stretched all in one. I will insert a clip of me diffusing my hair as well. So that is... The best for me if I'm in a rush and I still need my hair to look bomb and I still need it to last me the week. I just diffuse my hair done in like 
25, 25 minutes-ish. And then the last thing that I do is I will use my Curidu and I will insert a clip of that as well. I use my Curidu and I basically just stretch my hair, but it is a different type of stretch. It's a hair steamer and I use it and it combs out my curls. So this is really good if you're doing braid outs, twist outs, whatever. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just, I've been using the Curidu for like a year now and my hair loves it. It keeps my hair moisturized and it's going to really stretch my hair completely. Like think of a blow dry look. So not like a elongated wash and go like this, but like a blow dry look. That's what the Curidu does for me. And I just run that along the length of my hair and then I can style however I want. I rarely, rarely ever wear my hair blown out like that. Like never um if i want to do a flexi rod set i can do it if i want to do a twist out i can do it bantu knots whatever i feel like doing i can do it after i style with the cure do and then i'm gonna get elongated results whatever it is is gonna be less shrunken and if you know me you know i love big hair so for that reason me and the cure do are like this I could also use it to deep condition, but that's another story, you know, um, this is all about stretching your hair. So yeah, that was basically my four tips for stretching your hair. If you feel like you just want to get a little bit more, mm, like you want to show off a little bit of that length that you work so hard for it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.